right, let's get started. We're gonna start by bringing our water to a boil. Then we're gonna add in our pasta. I have all the measurements on my blog, like always. So add in your pasta. I salted this water a little bit. All right, and we're gonna cook the pasta just until it's al dente. You don't wanna overcook it because we're gonna bake it as well. All right, now you wanna dice up all of your vegetables that you're gonna use. I'm just using um, some bell peppers, onion, and um, some garlic, but you could also throw in some mushrooms, some black olives, you know, whatever you like on your pizza. It's pizza casserole. All right, so, and I love that garlic press. Oh. All right, so I have drained the pasta and added it to a separate bowl, and I'm just gonna toss in some Italian seasoning. I always do this with my pasta. I like to season up, you know? Um, and then we're gonna put in some Parmesan cheese, just like that. I'm just gonna mix it up and then just go ahead and set this aside. Okay, so now it's time to saute our vegetables. I'm gonna pour some olive oil into a pot, the same pot I used for my macaroni, all right, for my own pasta. And then just add that into the pot. We're gonna saute it over medium heat just until it is nice and tender. Okay, so whenever it's done, you can just go ahead and add that to that pasta and set that aside. All right, there's the same pot again. I'm not gonna dirty up too many dishes with this recipe, which is why I love it, okay? I didn't need to add any oil to the pan because you know, I just didn't need to, but you may need to add some olive oil. All right, so now we're gonna brown our meat. I'm using some turkey dinner sausage and some ground turkey. You can also use pepperoni, um, sausage, ground beef, whatever. All right, so just ground that up, I mean brown that up, just like that. Okay, now this is done. If you need to drain it, go ahead and drain it. I didn't need to. So go ahead and add in your pasta and your vegetables <clears throat> into the pot and stir it up. All right, now we're gonna add in our pizza sauce. I'm using pizza sauce and pasta sauce. So just toss that up. And some more sauce and give it a stir just like that. And it's looking quite good already. All right, now you wanna taste it, make sure it tastes good. Add in any additional seasonings if you need to. I didn't have to add any because I used two flavorful sauces, so. All right, so now I'm just gonna pour this into a casserole dish. Just like that. And kind of smooth it out. Looks good, doesn't it? Yummy. All right, now it's gonna top it with cheese. I'm using three kind of cheeses. Let's go ahead and press that on top. Okay, now you wanna bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese has melted and there it is, looking yummy. Sprinkle the top with some Italian seasoning or parsley, just to make it look kind of pretty, you know? And then you are ready to dig in, yummy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.